Hey guys, we're back here in the um, planter box garden and we're going to talk tomatoes today. So we have a few different varieties in here. Um, so I'm going to share with you a few things that worked out awesome and a few things that did not work out so great and what I learned from them. So then hopefully you don't make the same mistakes. So as far as tomatoes go, um, I have under pruned, I have over pruned and not pruned at all. And what I do find um, so far is pruning if you stay up on it, it's so much easier and you get a better yield of your tomatoes. Um, this year I did over prune just a little bit, but I don't think it's actually gonna be a problem. I feel like we're still getting plenty of fruit from it, um, more so than I have in the past. When I've under pruned, I've kind of done it because I've been afraid of cutting off the flowers and stuff and then not getting as many tomatoes as I want. Um, but as I've learned is if you keep up on the pruning and you do a little overboard, you actually get a better yield because it just concentrates more on the fruit itself, that being the tomato, and they get bigger and they get more flavorful and you still get a ton of them. So I wouldn't be too afraid of pruning. The years that I didn't prune enough, honestly, I didn't get nearly as many as tomatoes as I do now. And it was hard to find them and I feel like we had more bug problems at that point because there was more leaves for them to hide on and I couldn't find them so we had more infestations so when I over prune them I don't feel like there is nearly as many bug issues that we've had in the past so as far as tomatoes I would keep up on the pruning another thing I've learned with them is not to overwater them they really don't need as much water as other fruits and vegetables um, when they get overwatered, they tend to split, which is not a good thing because then you can't eat them. They're just junk. So I water them less than I water everything else. And that seems to work really, really well. Uh, and also you don't need a hundred plants. The first year we did this, I think we had, oh man, like 30 tomato plants. And that was before we had a YouTube channel. So I don't have any video of that, but we grew them in the field then. And we had like 20, 30 plants and it just became too much work. And what I found is about 10, 12 plants for us works really good and you get still a really high yield for it. It's a lot less maintenance. Um, overall, tomatoes are pretty easy to grow. I do have some favorite varieties. Cherry tomatoes for me have been the easiest and we use them a lot in like salads and things like that. So I do recommend doing a cherry tomato. We've never really had problems with them. They've always been really good. The one variety we have struggled with is um, Roma. I don't know why, I mean, it grows fine, but that one seems to attract more bugs than the other ones for whatever reason. Uh, but I have learned, like I said, if you keep up on the pruning with that, the bugs aren't nearly as bad and then you get a way better yield. Um, we only have three tomato plants here, but follow me over to the greenhouse number one. We are back at greenhouse number one, and if you want to follow me in here, this is where we keep the majority of the tomato plants. We have quite a few varieties in here, and like I said, um, pruning this year has been key. Here's one that I pruned quite a bit, and you can see how much more fruit we're getting and how much bigger they're getting too. I mean, these are huge and they're growing really great. Um, we are, I haven't been watering them nearly as much as I had in years past. So again, they're growing and doing better. Tomatoes really don't need as much as um, other plants, which was something that I learned because I kind of overwatered them previously. And these are aroma ones. These are the ones that we have in the past had issues with worms getting in there. And um, I think with pruning more, it's keeping the bugs away. They're not in there. Another thing we've lucked out with this year too is we've had a lot of like ladybugs, which eat kind of the bad bugs. If so you attract the beneficial bugs, then they keep the bad bugs at bay. So that's another thing we've learned. Um, tomato cages too, pushing them in the ground as deep as they need to go. So they 
are able to support the plant has been a huge thing. I used to kind of just set them in, which sounds completely idiotic and truthfully it was, but you really got to get them down kind of like this one where it's like almost, the bottom ring is almost all the way in like touching the ground. Cause they get big, especially with these big varieties of tomatoes and then the weight happens. And in the past we used to tie these cages up against this bar to keep them going straighter, but with pushing them in the proper depth and the way they're actually supposed to be used and then keeping up on the pruning, we haven't had the weight issues where they just topple over halfway through the year. That's probably one of the biggest learning curves we've had, especially in the greenhouses, is just keeping them pruned so they don't get too heavy and pushing the cages in properly so they don't get too heavy and tip over. Because in years past, even in the greenhouses, when it was not windy, you'd come in here and they'd just be toppled over and then you lose so much because they get damaged hitting the ground. So just making sure that they're properly supported either by a cage or some people do like a pole and a string and tie them up. But just getting ahead of that before you have problems where they get heavy and topple over. That's been really good, big change we've made around here. And like I said, with the cherry tomatoes, which we have a few back through here, um, pruning again, just you get so much better fruit and they're just everywhere and then they grow really great and you don't get that um, weight in there knocking everything over. So this is my honest review of growing tomatoes and if you want to see how crazy the tomatoes have been in the past, check out this video right here.